Wowie, what an update we've had. New hand grenades, claymores, a muzzle break, an extended barrel, and significant updates to the abilities of Doc, Twitch, and Blackbeard. But as usual, the in-game stats and descriptions for the rifle attachments are not really that clear. How do the muzzle break and the extended barrel affect recoil? Let's find out. What's up guys, Rogue9 here, and here it is, the brand new muzzle break. The description claims that this is some kind of compromise between the flash hider and the compensator, but the recoil pattern seems to tell a different story, especially when you compare it to the other adapters. As we can see here, the recoil pattern picture for the muzzle brake clearly indicates that it will provide the tightest bullet groupings and the lowest amount of muzzle rise. So what is the muzzle brake? A compromise or simply the best? Let's conduct our own little experiment to find out. Off to the lab! Which in this case happens to be a bank. So off, off to the bank. The experiment I will be conducting here will aim to confirm whether or not the recoil patterns presented in the game are correct or accurate. And what I'll essentially do is create my own. Standing in this precise corner with each of the adapters on the gun, in turn of course, I will aim at precisely this light bulb and fire a few bursts. The distance to target is 21 meters. For each of the adapters, I fired seven bursts in total. And here are the results. Now with these results, we have to keep in mind that I only have a sample size of seven bursts, which is relatively small compared to the hundreds of data points we have in the in-game recall patterns. Nevertheless, it immediately becomes evident that the muzzle brake seems to have the lowest amount of muzzle rise. Although the grouping does widen out somewhat towards the top, just like in the recoil pattern provided in the game. The patterns I produced for the extended barrel, the suppressor and having no adapter at all are, just like in the game, also equivalent. So we have about the same muzzle rise for each shot and about the same random distribution left or right. The only discrepancy between my experimental data and the data provided in the game is for the compensator. During my test, the compensator produced very tight groupings with almost vertical muzzle rise. But as mentioned before, that might have just been luck and linked to my small sample size. All in all, I'm very happy with the data I've collected and I think it allows me to provide a solid conclusion. In my opinion, and backed up by my experiment, the muzzle brake is not a compromise in any way, it is quite simply the best option in terms of recoil management. Unless I plan on doing some long distance combat, in which case I would use the extended barrel, I will be using the muzzle brake every time. I hope you find the info from this video useful. If you're looking for more videos of this style, doing little experiments to gain insight into the workings of Rainbow Six Siege, I can recommend that you check out the Mythbusters series by Cor Ross. He's already got an episode out examining the myths around the recent reinforcements drop. Check it out by clicking the video on screen or the link in the description. And that's it for today. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode.